Hello, this is Ineos from Tolerated Cinematics and today I'll be showing you how to create a old film look in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Go to Adobe After Effects and import your footage. I already done that so I'm just gonna drag my footage into a new comp and then I'm going to right click over here, new, adjustment layer and then I'm going to rename these, uh, this adjustment layer to CC for color correction and caps and it doesn't matter just to keep everything clear so um, yeah by doing uh, for doing that you just hit the return key by, um, while selecting this layer and you can rename it and then we're going to effects color correction and tint I'm gonna change the white color to a light sepia color so I'm gonna change to a orange over here and light, light, orange, something like that. Then hit OK. Go back to effects, color correction, curves to uh, create some contrast. So something like this looks pretty fine. OK, I'm gonna close these two down. And then go again to effects, and we're going to noise and grain, add grain. And the viewing mode, we're gonna change this to final output, and that's everything we're gonna do for this one and then we have this over here so now again right click over here new solid change this to a black color make comp size and rename it to scratches scratches okay then go to effects noise and grain again but now we are going to change it to uh, fractal noise and we're gonna change the contrast to like uh, let's say 250 and the brightness minus 100 and then we're going to transform Uncheck uniform scaling so you can change um, the width and height separately from each other. So the width will be one pixel and the height, let's say, 10,000 to be sure. Um, so, okay. And now we want to animate the evolution so it's uh, animating over time. Now it's just one image that you see over here. So we're gonna hold Alt and click on stopwatch over here and enter time times. Um, for me, it will be 200, but um, depending on how fast or how slow you want uh, want it to be, you have to change this number. So if you increase it, it will be fa uh, faster and so on. So um, pretty easy to understand. And the viewing mode over here. If you don't see this, you just press F4 on the keyboard, um, and you can change this. And then we're gonna change it to an add. So now you see our footage above it. So. Uh, also the opacity you have to change it to 50% and once you've done that we're gonna duplicate this uh, solid so control D or go to edit duplicate and we're going to change the contrast to 350 and minus 50, uh, 150 for the brightness and the uniform scaling we're gonna check this back on and change it to 100 so okay 100 Okay, we'll do it separately, 100, okay, there we go. Okay, my bad, just didn't have to do that. Just check it back on and change this to 100, my bad. Okay, so, um, there we go. We have the scratches all working. Okay, now right click again, new solid, and change it to a vignette. So, rename it to vignette and change the uh, take your ellipse tool so right over here duplicate on the ellipse tool and then we're going to change the mask to a subtract so it's the other corners that are uh, selected and then press F on the keyboard change the mask feather to 250 and then hit T on the keyboard for opacity change to 75 percent and there we go we have our vignette and that's pretty fast and that we've done that um, but you can also um, like duplicate your footage and again use the ellipse tool double click on it subtract and F will be 250 percent okay and go to effects um, blur and sharpen and just change the fast blur to like 5 percent something like that and then you have like the other corners um, all blurred out so it's a really old film look um, so I like this effect a lot, so it's pretty cool for old films uh, to recreate the style. Uh, if you want to save your color correction, so uh, color, uh, correction, so only this layer, well what am I doing, I can just solo this layer, so 
okay I'm pretty stupid at the moment so just a color correction just select all the three uh, effects and go to um, animation and just save the animation presets and I already did that so just rename it to something you like and then we're going to effects and presets over here or go to window effects and presets and then just enter like old film look and you will see it in your user presets so your own preset that you've made it uh, made over here so um, for the scratch you can also uh, save this fractal noise but um, you will have to add the solids um, yeah, yourself and then just apply the effect on it so um, yeah that's my tutorial on how to create this film look uh, so if you like this tutorial uh, give it a like um, uh, comments whatever you, whatever you think uh, for a next uh, tutorial check out my channel I have a lot of other tutorials that you can check out and yeah follow me on Twitter and Facebook links are in the description thanks for watching and goodbye